So I generated these images using the new Flux model. I did it online and I did it for absolutely free. And in today's tutorial, I'll show you how you can do the exact same thing and generate unlimited images using the same model. Before we get started though, remember to hit that subscribe button. Also remember to like and share this video so that more people can benefit from it. Without wasting time, let's get started. Now go over to peaklumen.com and with this AI tool, you can generate your images in anime style, realistic style. You can also have line art and artistic style. Below are some images that have been created using this AI tool. So you can expect to have such beautiful output from your prompts as well. To get started, click on generate for free and you'll be able to create your account using your Google account or any other email address that you have. Now from the explore page, you can see all images that others have created in the community. And if you like any of them, you can go ahead and remix. But in this case, we'll just go ahead and start creating our own. So we'll go over to the create button and click on it. And this image generation page will appear. From the models tab, you can choose the model that you want to use from Peak Lumen Realistic, Anime, Line Art, as well as the Flag Chanel model. Next, I'll go ahead and choose the aspect ratio that I want. And you can choose the aspect ratio from all the ones that are available in this drop down menu. Next, you can go ahead and choose the generation mode and you can choose between quality and fast. So quality gives you a better quality of your image and fast just produces your generations faster. Next, you can go ahead and choose the number of images that you want per generation and you can choose from one all the way to four. Next, we have the prompt area and this is where your prompt is going to go. And I'm just going to input a prompt over here right now. Once that is done, you can go over to the generate button and click on it. And this is going to start the image generation process. So our images are now ready. So let me just go ahead and click on one so that we can see it. And as you can see, the image is actually really good. The quality is so good. The details are very good. And the overall execution of the prompt is pretty near perfect. Now the flux model that is available on Peaklumen is the Schnell model. And in the next two videos, I'll show you how you can access the other models of Flux online without having to install anything. So if you're interested in knowing how you can access all these other Flux models, make sure you watch out for my next two videos. Now I'll just go ahead and input a different type of prompt and I'm going to generate a different image using this. So let's just go ahead and generate this. Well, the image generation is pretty fast, but either way, I'm just fast forwarding this. So here is the image and you can see how detailed this image is. Like all the details are just so on point from the vegetation to the trees, the leaves, the everything, like even the flowers, you can see how beautiful and detailed this image is. Now I want to generate the realistic image of a person and I want to see if we can get results that are just as good as all this. So I'm now going to input a different type of prompt and with this I'll input the prompt of a person. And once that is done, of course, I'm just going to go ahead and hit generate and let's see the kind of results that we get with this. So here are the images. I'm just going to go ahead and zoom out one of them so that we can have a clear look at them. So let's just start with the first one and let's go ahead and zoom out the hands. You know, most of the AI tools tend to mess up the hands, the facial features, the feet, you know. So let's just go ahead and look at this one. You can see how perfect these hands are. They absolutely look realistic, uh, not very realistic, they actually look real. And that goes for actually both of the images. You can even see the facial features. Everything looks so real so so real now i'm just going to copy the same prompt that we used and i'm going to use it to generate an image right here on peak lumen using a different model so i'm going to use the peak lumen realistic model for this and then we'll just go ahead and compare the results and see if there's any major differences between the two images now here are the images that i've generated using the peak lumen realistic model so let me just zoom out one of them and right off the bat you can see this man has four fingers you can even see the facial features. Well, they are not as crisp and clear as the first ones. Now let's just go ahead and look at the second image while well, I generated two images. So let's just look at the second one and you can see these fingers. The small finger is actually half. The rest of the fingers look actually really weird. You can see the fingernails are kind of mushed up into the fingers and all. 
So you can literally see for yourself. We use the same prompt, but the images that we got are totally, totally different. All in all, you can go ahead and use some of the other models that are available. So I'm going to use the exact same prompt. And this time I'm going to use the Peak Lumen Anime. So let's just see if the results are usable. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit generate with this. And fast forward to the results. So here are the images and you can see these are actually good. So if you want to use the anime style, you can absolutely use the Peak Lumen anime style. But you can also use the Flux model to generate your anime style. You just need to craft your prompt properly. That is it for today, guys. Like I said, in the next two videos, I'll be showing you how you can access all the other Flux models. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any question, make sure to put it in the comment section. I hope to see you in the next one. So bye bye for now.